Hey everybody, I wanted to take some time to introduce to you Apache Gossip. It is a project in the Apache Incubator. What is Gossip, real quick? So Gossip is a peer-to-peer -peer networking protocol where hosts learn, e learn about each other and exchange information. Um, why would you want to do this? Essentially, when you want to use something like Gossip, you want to build a network dynamically uh, such that um, nodes could join in a peer-to-peer -peer fashion and you could exchange like brontobytes of information. So how does that work? Well, in some, some setups, you may have something like, well, how do we join a network? It's like, well, we'll have these masters that communicate with each other, and then all the hosts will talk to the master, and then everyone could get a big list from the master of who's, who's in charge of what, and you know who, who, who are we gonna work with? Well, gossip does not believe in masters. There are no masters. So we are just going to take those masters and send them where the sun doesn't shine. Gone, gone, gone. Great, so without masters, how do we communicate? Well, we need to at least know one other host in the network. Sometimes we call those seeds. So for example, if one of our hosts is node ID zero at localhost 1000, you tell node two where to connect. Now at that point, these hosts should be able to exchange information with themselves about their up-down state. Now, if another node were to connect, we would start a communication with them. Now, the communication of gossip also gives the entire network topology. So through the first host, these hosts would learn of each other, and then they could begin communication. Now, even if this host were to go down, these hosts could still know and communicate with each other because they've already learned of each other's existence and they speak in a peer-to-peer -peer fashion. So how does this work in practice? Um, well, I'll show you. Um, Incubator Gossip is a Java project and I built a small standalone program. Um, these are tuning settings that I'll explain later. But the point of uh, Gossip is you can get settings and um, each host is again a server, so they all, they all need a cluster name, but then from there on, all they need to know, very simple, is a URI, where to bind to, and an ID. And then optionally, they need one or more seeds, as we just described, places to connect. Um, so this program, what it does is it just starts up incubator gossip, and then every two seconds, it just prints the topology of the network. So we're gonna launch this program, and for the first seed, we are going to say, we are binding to port 10,000, and we're listing ourselves as a seed, which essentially does nothing, but this is the first node in our network. Great. So this is gonna start up, and as you can see, the live dead list is empty. We don't, we don't list ourselves, because that's pretty redundant. So what would happen when we start a second copy? Well, this one is going to be on um, port 2000. You know, normally these would be on different hosts, but for this example, we're just on uh, one machine. This is ID2, but we're going to use that first one as a seed. So let's go. Now, once these two machines connect, they're going to start exchanging information about each other, right? Such that the first machine sees the second machine is live now. Here's ID2. Now, it's important to note that there's this thing here called current detect. That's the threshold. This number represents how lively we think the other host is. We're going to explain that a little more later. But when you get above a threshold, you're considered down. So now we're going to start a third machine. This will be um, ID1, and we'll also use the first node as a seed. You could also use the second node as a seed. It doesn't matter. There's nothing special about seeds. <clears throat> Great. So now we're starting up. And as you can see, each host sees two live hosts. And they're exchanging what's known as heartbeats, which are just timestamps of the last time they were alive. Now, <clears throat> what we could do next is we could kill one of these machines and we could observe what happens. So just to prove to you that the first machine isn't really special, I'm going to kill the initial host that was the seed for the other two. Now, what this is gonna do is, as you'll see these other machines, um, ID zero now, the score is gonna start going higher, right? Because it's gonna get worse. And once it crosses a threshold, it's gonna be marked as down, right? So now this machine now sees that host is down. 
Now remember that these are all scored individually. So eventually this machine will see it as down too, but it's not exactly going to happen at the exact same time. Great, so now the, the network has converged with reality. We see that this node is down and the other two no other machines have noticed it. Now we could bring this machine back up Right, and now it's going to receive messages from other people. It's going to learn who's alive, and now it has joined the live list here. So that's actually gossip. We see we have a peer to peer network. Hosts could go up and down. Um, we learn about the topology dynamically, basically, just by exchanging our host list with our neighbors. So the only the things that I kind of glossed over quickly are the settings. Now, one setting is the gossip interval. This is how, how many milliseconds between each message exchange. So obviously you could set this set this value lower using more CPU and network, or you could set it higher. Um, the point is you uh, those messages get stored in a window and you can make this window as large or as small as you want. This affects the probabilistic of, uh, ah, frick. Basically a larger window will mean that you contain more samples. Um, so it's more memory for more possible accuracy. Now this threshold is important because this, when you cross this threshold, you're regarded as up or down. And that's what we're seeing here. When a machine goes past this threshold, it's marked down. So if we were to kill this node again, we've kind of shown that the threshold should be going up. So let's see. Where is it? This was node two. So two's threshold is rising. Now because we have a window, it's not gonna be marked dead right away because there's a history and it takes a lot of events to change the history. But now that we've crossed over this threshold, it's going to be marked as down. So really that's a tour of uh, incubator gossip. Uh, I hope you guys check it out and play with it. It's a really cool project and uh, hasta la vista.